When it comes to working with iWeb, most of the times you're going to be adding images, either photos or some other kind of visual element to your website. So let's work with photos. I'm going to add another page for the purposes of showing you how to work with photos. And in this case, the template that I'm going to choose is going to be an about me template. The page that I'm going to create is not going to be about me. It's rather going to be about maybe one night or maybe one particular photo. But uh, what I want to show you is, in detail, the process of working with photos. So as mentioned earlier, the first thing that you're going to notice is that iWeb populates the page with dummy content. And the idea is that you replace those placeholders with your own media. Now in this case, you see the style at the top is slightly different from the style of these other smaller photos down below. First, we need to find the images that we want to put in this page. So I'm going to go back to the Photos pane. And as you can see, by default, we get to see our iPhoto collection. If you select the iPhoto name at the very top, then you get to see in here all of the photos in your collection. It's a really extensive list in this particular case. But you can sort of make a sub-selection by clicking on any of the groups over here. For example, if you take a look right now, I'm looking at my iPhoto collection, which has 11,000 photos. If I choose on the events, now I get to see 552 events, and the photos are organized by events. So in this case, it's a little bit easier and a little bit faster to identify photos, as long as the events are something that can relate to you. So here we go. We've got an event over here that was for the moon. And as you can see, just by skimming through, you get to see the thumbnails. So I'm double clicking on the event. When the event expands, then you get to see all of the images in that particular event. Even further, if you double click on an image, you get a larger version of that image. Clicking on the gray area takes you back to the contents of the event. And then from here, you can just drag and drop to the placeholder. So I'll do that same thing for these other three placeholders down below. I'm going to grab this photo, which is somewhat funky. It's, it's out of focus, and it's not very well framed. But it does give it a little bit of motion over here to these thumbnails. Same thing with this one, which is very dark. I'm going to put it over here. And then I've got a, a very nice, complete shot of the moon here. Now, in this case, there are some other little smaller thumbnails in here that work exactly the same way. Simply grab a photo, drop it in there, and iWeb automatically reshapes and crops the image. 